assalamu alaikum dear uh, student of uh, adp uh, second uh, semester is started now and uh, i am delivering lecture on the food sciences uh, in my last lecture uh, first lecture i have explained about the protein what is the protein how is it formed and uh, how is it important and what are its basic basic functions in this lecture we are going to continue our previous lecture and uh, further study just first slide is here structure before going to structure i am just giving you some points uh, first of all i have told you about the protein what is the protein basically a uh, biomolecule that is uh, uh, going uh, the reactions biological reactions going on in our uh, system in human body in living systems are uh, carried out uh, by some molecules some molecules are responsible for these reactions are called as the biomolecules which are these molecules just like a carbohydrates nucleic acids proteins one of them is the protein and what is the protein protein is another biomolecule and it is made up of the it's a big molecule it's a polymer polymer is what which is the big one and is made up of smaller units and these units are called as the monomers so what did i say what, uh, uh, here is monomer amino acid so more than 100 amino acids are linked together to form the structure of the protein and how is it protein important i have already told you in so many for example i have told you about the insulin is a protein and skin and bones uh, are also respond uh, made up of the proteins and hemoglobin is protein insulin is protein uh, keratin hairs are the protein so many proteins are there in the living system in the living system which are responsible for different functions and very important just like a hemoglobin is very important for us for transferring oxygen from the lungs to all over body system now today is my second lecture which is about the structure of the protein before going to the structure of protein it's very important for you to understand the general formula which i have explained in my last lecture i know you are not the students of um, chemistry class but still it's very important to continue uh, this topic to learn this i have uh, told you just learn it there is no uh, option try to understand also but this formula of amino acid it's very important this is a generalized formula this is very simple formula because protein is formed with this amino acids amino acids are linked then my amino uh, protein is formed now look at this Uh, look at the screen there is a general formula i have told you carbon is in the center i have told you amino acids are the organic compounds they are how they are formed they are form some major elements carbon hydrogen nitrogen sometimes sulfur and uh, oxygen very important so if you have to look at the this general formula look at this carbon is in the center one of the side is called as the carboxyl side carboxyl is what c double o h and the other side is occupied with a n h 2 that is called as the amino group and the one side is occupied with the hydrogen hydrogen atom hydrogen and one side is occupied with the r i said i told that uh, all the amino acids have the same structure except the r r means organic compound alkyl group which may be changed and amount uh, all others are the same r may be changed in one amino acid from the other amino acid so next slide how the protein is synthesized very simple look at the screen there is one amino acid and amino acid 1 amino acid 2 they are linked together how they are linked together they they remove water from them and form a bond this is very important for you class to understand i know you are not a chemistry student but still you need to understand to learn it simply just two molecules 
one of the amino acid and the second amino acids are linked together how they are linked they are reacted together then they what thing they are released look at this h2o what is h2o it's a water so when the water is removed one molecule is attached to another one molecule and the bond which attached a linkage is called as the bond bond is what a link so a link is called as the bond and this bond is called as the peptide bond and in this in the structure we are saying formation of the peptide bond one peptide bond another molecule of amino acid third amino acid uh, comes and linked with it so many amino acids are linked and this chain is called as the polypeptide this bond which link to amino acid is called as the peptide bond if there are more than amino acids other amino acids are going to be linked with it then they are also attached with each other and this linkage is called as the polypeptide chain oh, and when the polypeptide bond means many amino acids are linked with the peptide bond this chain is becoming a uh, polypeptide chain and this polypeptide chain and this uh, more than 100 amino acids are linked and then the structure is formed is called as the protein structure and this is called as the protein synthesis now point is that classification a topic in your syllabus is the classification or types of the protein how do you explain very simple you know first thing is very important to understand amino acids are the major elements for the formation of the protein now how the protein looks you can categorize the protein on the behalf of its shape right we are categorized or we are classified the protein structure on the behalf of it shapes look at the screen proteins have different levels of organization what does it mean it means amino acids are linked just linked together right how they are linked and how they are formed as a result of this organization this linkage of amino acids different structures are formed number one is the primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure and quaternary structure one thing is very important primary structure is the basic structure you know just like a thread simple long thread is the primary structure this is the basic structure when the primary structure is folded twisted to each other then they form the secondary structure when the secondary structure make more complicated it forms the tertiary and tertiary structure is further organized and uh, uh, combined together, fold it together, fight it together, they form the quaternary structure. So, these are not the types. These are the simplify. You have a hemoglobin structure. It's very complicated. It's very complex. Just like uh, you can say in Urdu, gucha. Group, right? When I am going to give you this group of hairs or group of threads, I am going to give you, please, sort it separate it simplify it then it is called as the you are going to simplify one by one first of all you have a quaternary structure this is the hemoglobin structure it's very complicated it's very complex no i'm giving to student please this is the group of threads please simplify in the first stage you simplify it two three threads are separated to each other you have to set this this one is the tertiary structure further specification further sorting out the threads this is called the secondary structure at the end the basic unit you are going to give me or a basic thread at the end of the thread one simplify thread you are going to give me a teacher this one is the simplest one thread which are combined together and form the quantities i hope you will going to understand what is this this is nothing this is just a group of threads i have given you that is called as the hemoglobin structure that is called as a tertiary structure now you are going to solve it to sort out this at the each level of sorting out this group of threads into the simple thread is called as the different structures of the organization it means organization sometimes are um, going to do some work with a 
kites, uh, strings, I think uh, threads, anything else, it's uh, become very diff difficult and complicated. You are sitting beside and try to solve it, try to organize it in the form of uh, try, you are going to try to solve it to sort out. This is the structure of the protein. Now, next, first of all, how they are folded? How they are? There are two forces in chemistry. Keep in mind. One is the bonds, covalent bonds and these one. These bonds are very strong bonds. Some bonds are just for attraction bond. I am going to give you an example. If you have a sister, brother, and this relationship I said, covalent bond is strong. But if you have a friends, these are the weak forces. For the time being, you are coming in the institution and make a friends. And this is called as the weak forces. So this is another bond, but the weak bond. So these two bonds are responsible for, make, for linking this amino acid. After the opening of college, inshallah, I will explain these chapters again. I hope you will get it uh, through this online lecture. But still, I, was, I will try it. Now... Look at this. This is very important stuff. Prime structure. Are you looking? Just single thread. Right? Single chain. Scandary structure. When two chains are linked together. Folding. Tertiary and quaternary. Packing. Or a interaction. Complex interaction. Is called as the. So in a simplest way. I, I hope you will understand. Try to understand. Prime structure is just linkage of amino acids. They are not linked to another one right now scandry two and three folds are linked together tertiary and quaternary packing get it system first of all i'm going to explain the primary structure i have already explained primary structure of the protein refers the sequence of amino look at the screen i what thing i uh, purple bead is the amino acid all the beads are amino acids and the black linkage is the peptide bond which I have explained in the, my first slide. The link peptide bond is a, a, a one amino acid linked with other amino acid with the peptide bond, which I have discussed in the first slide. The bond which contain which link one amino acid to other other. So many more than hundred amino acids are linked together. Hund, more than hundred amino. Look at the picture. This is just the sequence of amino acids. Sequence, simple sequence of the amino acid and many bonds are there. And this long chain, you can say the thread in which you have to uh, add the beads. These beads are the amino acids and this thread, they, they linked one bead to another, one amino acid to another is called as the polypeptide chain. So, simple sequence of amino acids, general, this is called the primary structure. Right, prime structure of the protein refers to the sequence of amino Just amino acids are linked with the palate polypeptide. And simple amino acids are, are what type of bond is formed? Covalent bond, strong bond. Right, this you can say one thing is very important, which I am going to tell you. This is called as a backbone, first structural unit or a backbone of protein. First is the backbone of the bone, and uh, polypeptide is the uh, very important and this form the for example uh, if you are one single hair look at the screen this is just like a single hair girls have a long hairs these long hairs are how is it formed it's a protein keratin and how is it formed just a minus is linked with the peptide bond and form the long hair. now second one is the secondary structure it's complicated now it's a complicated structure of the protein when the backbone when the primary structure of uh, one uh, you can say two types of the secondary structure exist existed alpha helix and the beta sheets it's just a uh, group of combining of the primary structure together to form the secondary structure now look at this this is the how is it linked secondary structure just look at the screen in the Secondary structure, when one primary structure going on, right, backbone or, or uh, you can say the simple primary structure, In uh, this is the simple and longitudinal form. At the 
वन स्टे इट मेक्स फोल्डिंग इट मेक्स फोल्डिंग फॉर्म हेलिक्स हैव यू सीन हेलिक्स हेलिक्स मीन्स जस्ट टू लेटर कंबाइन टूगेदर यू कैन से राइट सो वेन द वन प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर स्टार्ट फोल्डिंग एंड स्टार्ट फोल्डिंग एंड लिड विद वन एंड अदर इट्स कॉल एज द स्कैंडरी स्ट्रक्चर If I have a picture now, I have no picture here. Just try to understand. Or just I'm going to give example. Then you will understand what is the scan free structure. You have a, uh, make a if the girls have long hairs and they form a choti. Yeah, uh, you are making one part of hairs. You have to divide your hairs in two parts and try to make a choti. So this is the scan free structure. two primary structures are linked together in the form of the choti and the the point where the linkage is the simple weak bond that is called as the hydrogen bond so two three primary structure are linked together they make a choti and they form the hydrogen bond and this is called the secondary structure of the protein third in one is the tertiary and the quaternary structure of the protein here you can say interaction now you look at this a one chain folding and packing will going to is going to be started so so many uh, primary structures or uh, uh, scan structure secondary structures now makes in the case of the secondary structure you are making just two fold one fold just like a choti but in the case of the tertiary structure there are shown so many folds they are linked to each other and form this complicated structure of hemoglobin look at the screen 